Today we're going to finish our flowers by adding the petals. Last week we painted the paper. Now that it's dry, we're going to cut it and make our petals. First we're going to take your paper and you're going to cut it in half, down the middle, like that. Then you're going to take your two papers, put them one on top of the other, and fold these together, like that. And then you're gonna cut out a circle. So here's my circle that I'm gonna use just to trace. I'm not actually gonna use that to make the petals. I'm just using it to trace. So I'm putting it over my four papers, tracing with one hand and holding very tight with the other hand. Why is it important for my other hand to hold the circle? Now I have my papers folded, I've traced my circle, and now it's time to cut on the line. So how many circles should I have? That's right, you should have four circles. One, two, three, four, with your nice um, painting on it. How am I gonna turn four circles into eight semicircles? Think about it. That's right, we're gonna take these, and I would do two at a time maybe, fold them in half, Open it up and then cut on the folded line that you should see. Fold. And I always like to use my finger to make a nice tight fold. Cut on the fold. And now you should have eight half circles or petals for your flower. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I want to have my painting showing when I glue them down. Seven, eight. You don't have to use all eight petals. And then you're going to glue it to your flower. There are two ways you can glue it to your flower. You can have the petals on top, or you can glue your petals behind. And you only need to glue this much of the petal, because that's the only spot it's going to stick to your paper plate. So if your petals are going behind your paper plate, you need to put the glue and only a skinny line of glue on top of your painting and put it behind. If you're putting your flowers on top, you need to turn it over where it's not painted and put the glue in the same spot. And I'm putting the glue on the straight edge, not the rounded part, the straight edge. You put it behind and then put your petal down like that. Now the petals can overlap a little bit, but I would stick to either putting them on the front or behind. So I think I'm gonna put these in front. Overlap. Hold for 10 seconds so I know it's sticking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make a pattern, dots, stripes, and I only use six of my petals. Please make sure your name is still on the back, and please put it on the drying rack. 
dry. Good job. If you get done early, 